Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this video is uh, quite a specific one. It is about the ground clearance on electric vans. So I have been asked about ground clearance a few times and again this morning. So while I'm taking some measurements this morning, I thought I might as well uh, document this and make it into a YouTube video um, because I'm sure I'll get asked again. So here we have a Renault Kangoo uh, Maxi uh, ZE33 electric van. And most electric vans are like this, where they were originally a diesel, and then they've adapted the electric powertrain to fit inside that existing uh, body shell. So sometimes the battery packs do hang down a little bit lower than the uh, exhaust pipe would do on a diesel. Um, and obviously they fit the battery pack around the cavities where the exhaust and the um, diesel tank would have gone. Here we have a Nissan ENV200 and this has got the 24 kilowatt hour and this one is the lowest of the bunch. So on this van the battery pack is sort of underneath the driver's seat going along to middle of the uh, sliding door and you can see it hangs down by uh, a few inches there and at its lowest point at the front here there is a metal bracket supporting the underside of the pack and that is 14 centimetres which is five and a half inches. Next we'll look at the uh, Peugeot Partner or Citroen Berlingo 22 kilowatt hour van. So on these the battery pack is uh, at the rear so it's split in two sections so it's very much where the exhaust silencers and the diesel tank would have been. And on these, the battery doesn't protrude much lower than the sills anyway. Uh, actually, it doesn't protrude any lower than the rear suspension. So we're looking at only a centimetre more than the weld, the pinch weld on the sills there. So we've got a clearance of 20 and a half centimetres, which is eight inches. Don't have a diesel van to compare it with, but I suspect an exhaust will sit probably as low as that anyway. So probably no difference on these than the diesel version. So next, let's look at this uh, Kangoo ZE33. So this one is the maxi version, but the standard ML20 wheelbase version and the previous generation 22 kilowatt hours all have the same ground clearance. So on these vans, the batteries are mounted at the back, just in front of you, the uh, rear wheels there. And it does hang down a little bit lower, but only an inch or so lower than the uh, sills. And at its lowest point, which is at the front of the pack, you've got 19 centimetres clearance. If you would like to have a better look underneath of these electric vans, then I've already done videos on the YouTube channel where I've got these up on the lift and had a detailed look underneath and also uh, have a look at what's under the bonnet. So I'll put the links to uh, these particular vans in question uh, in the description below. So next we'll look at these vans, the Maxus E-Deliver 3, because these are the first uh, electric vans in the UK that are built only as electric. So they don't have a previous diesel version. So the, the chassis is built just for electric powertrains only. These vans are quite similar to the Nissan ENV200, slightly larger payload and uh, slightly larger uh, cargo capacity, but a very similar sort of size van and very much the ENV200 competitor. So we've got plastic sills here and then if we get down and have a look underneath we can see nothing hangs down. In fact the battery pack is three or four inches higher, maybe five inches up in there so well protected, nothing protrudes at all and uh, the lowest point on these is the sills. So the distance from the ground to the sills is um, about 21 centimetres. Uh, it does raise up at the back because obviously the van is unladen at the moment and there's no weight on suspension. But yeah, we're looking at 21 centimetres, which compared to the um, ENV200 is an extra, uh, what was that, 14. So an extra seven centimetres ground clearance. So if I look where the battery pack is and measure that, that is about 25 centimetres, which is 10 inches off the ground. 
Uh, and as I said, the sills sit lower, so does this cross member there. So the battery is very well protected and doesn't protrude below the, um, effectively the chassis at all. But yes, on these, quite a bit more ground clearance, and that's just simply because it's built to be electric only. And um, obviously with electric, uh, if that battery pack is up high, there's nothing else underneath. So with a normal van, you will still have an exhaust hanging down a little bit lower than the other components anyway. So yes, if you want maximum ground clearance, something that's uh, ground up electric and only electric is gonna have the uh, greatest ground clearance. So that's it. If you found this video useful, please do click that thumbs up on YouTube because that really does help other people find the uh, videos and do subscribe and keep watching and more EV videos coming soon.